Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Night Drift Hall. That's creeping around the junk here today. Um, so much. We usually go live, but today we're pre-recording because while you're watching this, I'm in Arizona at my niece's wedding. Um, we take the items that we have thrifted throughout the week and we show them to you. We tell you what we paid, what we're going to sell it for, and what, if anything, we are going to do to make it more high-end. And Zeb is actually on this um, video commenting. So if you have questions while you're watching it in the live chat, um, and it says Jamie Ray Vintage commenting, that'll be Zeb. Yeah, I'll be around. So this this is actually a pretty massive thrift haul. It's huge. It's a uh, mega massive thrift haul. <laughs> we've had we've had probably some similar in size, like volume wise, but there's so many little items in this. It took us a long time to find it and to uh, list it and get it ready to go. It's so good that Zeb was going to go live with somebody else, and I'm like, no, I want to help share this thrift haul. So, uh, super excited to be sharing this with you today. We will be popping in commentary from questions that we get asked on a regular basis since it's pre-recorded and there isn't actually a live chat to respond to. But why don't you show them what you're snuggling there? Just so this is wall pockets, and it's got kind of like a chevron style to it. I liked it. It's got two places to hang right here. Honestly, if I wasn't gonna use this in the house, I really like it for in the garage or the barn for organization. Tools. I could put a ton of stuff in there. I might do something like gloves and safety glasses that I'm getting into all the time that I can just grab and see real quick. But it was $4, it's all metal, and it'll be $39.95. And if you guys wanna shop along, I forgot to mention this, you can go to jamierayvintage.com, click Saturday Thrift Haul, we reload that every Saturday night, but you can actually shop it anytime. And if you're watching on YouTube, Ivy is dropping links, but everything's already listed. So if you see something you like, don't wait because it sells pretty quickly. All right, so this is Jamie's little baby uh, ceiling shelf. Are you like shelf. downplaying my shelf? Yeah. Because you've got the big one. So I don't know how you missed the big one. This one was $8, but this one also $8. <laughs> We're going to sell this one for $39.95 and that one for $59.95. And they're both going to get painted. What I love about... Ooh, I'm just showing them the design. What I love about these is the tin. When you paint it and then you distress it or dry brush it, it just looks really great because it's embossed. So it's tin on the bottom and then solid wood on the top and the frame. And they're going to look a lot better painted. We yeah. pick these up anytime you see them. Even though I felt like $8 was a lot, I usually would pay like 5 it was worth it to me because they're always really good sellers. You know, I'm not going to split hairs over three bucks. No. Sometimes you just got to get stuff. Right side up. Okay. Another embossed tin project. This one was, I think, $2. It didn't have a price tag on it, but that's what they gave it to us for. And we're going to sell it for $26.95. I will paint this up. Um, I may take the hooks off and then just paint the back and then put the hooks back on, I think. But it'll be super cute. It's got hanging hardware in the back and it's $26.95. All right, so this is what Jamie would refer to as a giant urn. We have one we even have one bigger exactly than this. the same, only bigger in the shop. Um, that I've painted before. This one, the handle's broken. This We're is cast iron. I'm gonna take my grinder and zip those off and then we'll give it a paint job. I think it'll be cool without these little handles. This one's, it's you, you could probably get away with it being broken um because it's just cracked right here it looks okay you could epoxy it i guess but i'm going to just get rid of them and then i'll paint this probably do what not about, the what same. about doing crockery and dark wax like keep it more I simple i think that that would be cool the last one i did like a crazy blended drippy like patina looking finish and this one, I, I like that idea. I think we'll see work which one, like if this sells faster than the other one, then we know. If you watch the shop tour in coming weeks, I will make sure to compare and contrast on the way this one looks versus the other one. Unless it sells before the shop tour. All right, let's show all the candlesticks. We have a lot. <laughs> okay, let me find There's them. There's like a massive amount of candlesticks here. I think, and then I, think I tried to put them all over that direction. Oh, no, here's one. And we can show this lantern while we're at it. So because I will be watching while this is airing live, if you guys have any questions, comments, need some painting tips, construction tips, furniture repair tips, go ahead and drop them because I'll see that and be able to reply. 
So first up, we've got this really cool set of fluted candlesticks. Sti sticks. <laughs> um, they're textured, which is great. The, the sponge paint finish, though, not great. It might look okay on camera, but in real life, it's not, it's not good. Um, they were ironically $3 and $2. <laughs> this one's bigger. And once they're painted and finished, they'll be $39.95. Someone just swapped the, uh, the price tags on those. Sometimes it's so good. these I found separately. I think they actually brought them out separately because they're always bringing carts of goodies out. Um, this one was $2. This one was $3. These are going to require, they're, they're like slick. I, I almost want to say plastic. they're resin or plastic something like that they're, they're, very, they're very heavy and sturdy but we're going to prime them up and then we'll paint them and give them a cool paint we job. use diy salvation solution and that helps that stick to just just about everything all right i'll show let's show the rest that are going to be painted so we've got this one i've actually purchased this particular candlestick about 10 times in different varying colors in varying colors we're going to paint this up and it will be 16.95 these look really good painted and distressed back and I like the red. Like if I painted it white or cream and brought back some of the red, it would be good. Yeah, and it's a good like maroonish red. This one is going to be painted. I love the embossed tin on the bottom. I don't love the weird spongy fake rust finish or the lacquer. So once it's painted up, it was $3. This one will be $24.95. This one's going to be cool. Yeah, it's it's super shiny. Let me oh. Let me straighten that metal out there. You You're know, so we're strong. always we're always having to do repairs on a lot of this sort of top Make stuff. It a little better. That's usually why it ends up in the thrift store. It uh, you know, it, it didn't quite make the grade for people's home decor because it got damaged One or moment. broken. But <laughs> my phone's talking to me. Okay, so these are not gonna be painted. Last week we had a mustard one and it sold as is. I actually love this brown. It's got a little bit of almost a metallic. This is perfect for fall. Like it reminds these me of like a bean crock. Yeah, I love the a bean, pot. a bean pot, like the kind that have the reactive glaze. Mm -hmm. It's cool. And I like the contrast here. These are great for fall. Um, like I said, like imagine this with some pumpkins staged around it. They're $29.95 for the set. All right, so I'm trying to be organized. If it's getting painted or fixed or repaired, it's coming over here. Oh. And if it's not getting painted or fixed or repaired, okay. it goes well, that way. Those are going your direction. We've got so much. If I can organize it now while we're here, it won't take me no, an hour to good, put it up. No, it's good because when we're done, we box it up separately, and then on Monday, first thing, everything not painted goes to the shop, and then we keep everything that needs to be painted with us until we're ready to paint oh, it. I messed up my own system. Here you go. Oh no, we only have two things over here that don't need painted. There's a lot that needs to be done. Okay, this is. I don't know if this is crystal or not. It looks. It's heavy. I like put glass. It's heavy light crystal, dealer choice. Um, I don't know, I'm not really seeing prisms. No, I think it's just glass, it's but just it's good. It's quality. Honestly, I feel, like, so this has got room for a taper or a little pedestal, but also if you flip it, like I think it could be like a little bowl. It almost has like a lip here for you like a cloak or something. You candlestick if you wanted to. So either way, it was $1.50 and we're selling for $16.95. Um, another cute little candlestick. This is the two-tone with the, the shiny glaze in the middle. Perfect for fall. This actually, I bought it because I thought in the shop, like these paired together those. are gonna look really good. It's gonna be like a good vignette. So like if you wanted to buy these and this, I think they would go well. That one is- Put some big beeswax pillars on there. $12.95 for this one and we're not painting it. So yeah, they look good. Perfect for fall. And this is like a similar, but different, you know? Not too matchy matchy. Not too matchy not matchy. Not too matchy matchy. All right, I wanted to talk about this lantern. We've been finding stuff that I've never seen at Ikea at the thrift store that's made by Ikea lately. Yeah, last week we found that. So this out. is, this. I feel like this is a functional lantern. Like if you wanted to carry this around in the woods and with you, um, it's, it's designed to hold a little tea light in there, but just, I just really like it. Yeah, it's got a vent on the bottom. It's vented on the top. Um, the globe comes out. And how much is this one? It was $14.95. I paid, well, how much did I pay? I it was know. probably on the sticker. I think I paid $2 for it. So, That's cute. I, and, and like I said, it's made in Ikea, at Ikea, by Ikea or whatever, but never seen those at Ikea. We go to Ikea quite often. It's pretty close to us. All right. Next up, the perfect chippy white portable shelf, hand carved 
Sometimes you paint these, but this one is good. Just it's already it is. finished how we would probably do it yeah. or close to Handmade it. Handmade in India. Um, we paid $4 and we're selling this one for $32.95. That's good. All right, Jamie brought these antlers to me. She's like, do you think they're real? <laughs> I had to no. tell her that they're cast, not real, but they're like a good resin. You know, you could, sounds like a couple bucks fighting in the woods. I'm like, what are you doing? You can attract some more that bucks. Loud. <laughs> this one was $2, this one was $3. Together, they're coming together. We're not gonna paint them, we're gonna leave them as is. You can paint them if you want. Uh, but they're going to be thirty nine ninety five. They kind of look like mercury glass, like that aesthetic. That, that finish. I guess I'm, I'm going to just get a bin because this is going to pile up on my face. Yeah, it's going to pile up all over right there right now. Okay. I'll put this back How here. How cool is this little basket? I was so... This was a last minute binder. It's like a flat wall hanging basket that looks like a... Uh, Space in my words today. It's a, it's a watering can. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I was trying to call it something fancier, like a spigot. A spigot. It's not a spigot. For the hose. Uh, so I pulled, did I just pull the price off of this? I don't, did this one get priced? It was like a dollar. Okay, how much is it going to be though? It's on the front. Oh, there it is. $14.95. Wall baskets always do well for us. I think this one is going to do well just because it's unique. I'm also making a pile of stickers over here. The blue ones are our reminders so we don't have to look them up during the haul. We love trivets, brass trivets, a dollar each. I like check these out. They're collectible. These are um, $19.95 each and they are an owl and then here's a swan and a pretty butterfly. Anything mid-century brass does very well for us. I'm showing them close so that they can see the details. Yeah, they're kind of got like a, I don't know, embossed, scratch look. I don't know, they like did little checks in it. Yeah, it's probably in, in how they uh, molded it. Right, cast this it. is it's a cast. not actual vintage item, probably originally from the Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $5. We're selling for $39.95. This is okay, but we're kind of getting away from words. I, so I, have I'm gonna some, paint it. I have some stuff that might go in there. Decoupage or paint an IOD or a stencil. This is going to get, I'll leave this the way it is. I'll leave the frame the way it is. I'm just going to redo the inset. So keep that in mind when you are thrifting, even if something looks too mass produced for you and you want to give it a look, like a new look, just think about changing out the mass produced um, like decor that's on it into something that's your own style. It's not bad the way it is. It's actually cute, but I would prefer, it, I can't even talk. I would prefer if it was just birds. Right? Oh like, yeah. Not this other stuff. I hope that's that's the not painted. Oh, sorry. We got a system. Okay, so I think I'm doing good. All right, Zeb's basket. This is like chicken wire, but then it has bamboo. I was so, excited about that. It can be an egg basket. It can be a skipping basket. basket. But I, I feel like the way the garden's going, this is a perfect gathering basket. You know, you can go do a little garden harvest. It's just big enough. You can go get some beans for dinner or peas or. I Carrots. actually think for fall. You can skip through your garden with it. Uh, ow! You always say you're never gonna hit me, and you just totally hit me with that basket. And the toe? Yes. Are you gonna live? Why do you think I said ow? I just thought you were being dramatic. That's why you say I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hit you that with the basket. Like, what? Here, hit me, hit me somewhere. You, you always tell me when I flinch that you're never gonna hit me. Well, you're hanging your toe out way out there. It's, I'm, I'm sorry. Tell him about it. Hold on. <laughs> Take a deep breath, put my good girl panties on, and move on. Okay, so what I was thinking for, besides gathering, besides eggs, for the holidays, because it's got this chicken wire on the bottom, you could fill it with pine cones. Oh, yeah. Put a big red and white, like, ribbon on the top or on the side, and then be good for the holidays, like Christmas, and for fall, like, fill it up with pumpkins, like mini pumpkins. All right, now we can... No paint on that. Sorry I hit your toe. It's all right, I was actually surprised that I said Al when you didn't say you were sorry. So. I was very dramatic though, it was very loud Al, like I didn't know if you were kidding or not. When we're done, I'll whack your foot with that and see if it hurts. Okay, all right, okay. corning, I'll, t I'll take it, it's fine. I'm not gonna beat you, because <laughs> it won't hurt you. So these are salmon colored vintage corning wear. I like them because they're not just like solid, they have the glaze is kind of a little bit uh, see-through on the side and on the top. Um, and they were a dollar each and they're going to be $7.95 each for these mugs. 
Why don't you want to show them all the mugs? We can. We've got a collection of mugs, like Most we have a collection there. of candlesticks. Here, let me go around the front so we don't knock my stuff over here. I'm gonna get another uh, bin. Oh, there's a bin. Alright, the next up mugs we have are not vintage. These are from Anthropology. I don't even know if they make these anymore. If you can find these letter mugs, they're very popular. They've got a really great style to them. We've got a K and a G. They were a dollar each and we're gonna sell them for $9.95. And not all letter mugs are created equal. This particular style, the Anthropology style, is very desirable. We have the England mug if you want to show that while I'm wrapping it. Up. Yeah, so this one here, it's got a tiny little chip in it. Um, it was a dollar at the thrift store. We're selling it for $5.95. And it says England, it's, it's like embossed on the bottom. Um, let me bring this close so you guys can appreciate the print on there. It's the same on both sides. I'll show you the tiny little chip too. But this is a big mug, you can fit a lot in here. Yeah, you can even like warm up soup or whatever. You want to show them the chip? I'm trying to find it. It's right here. Just a little chip on the front. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. I love anything transferware. It looks like somebody may have potted in it. I don't know what's in the bottom. There you go. What's, so that would be awesome for succulents. What's it? Let me see it real quick. Looks like ink at the bottom to me. Oh, I bet you they had pens in it. I'm going to put oh, some maybe. soap in here. I'll yeah, I need to soak it. that up. Soak it up. Okay, so this is, I want to say tarnished silver, but it's got to be silver plate. There's no stamp on it, but it looks like it had a label here, like the old, like, 60s, 70s style label that would have uh, said that it was electroplated. Yeah, it's really <laughs> cool. I like the, um, it's got a few, like, dents in, in the side of it. Not much, I just think so. that that adds to the look. Overall, yeah. it's a really cute little It was a dollar, it's gonna be $7.95. And then this is an antique canning jar with like a star on the bottom. And a W, I couldn't find anything like specific on it, um, but I think it's cute. It would have originally had a lid because it's got a hermetic seal and it is, um, I don't know. It was a dollar, it's gonna be $7.95. Okay, that's what I thought. Also, like I, I feel like that's great. We're, we're trying to up our succulent game in the shop and have like real plants. Um, so hopefully not all of these sell hopefully immediately. That's usually what happens though. We're like, hey, we're going to plant succulents in them. And someone's like, hey, that's a good idea. I'm going to do it too. Uh, this was $1.50. It's going to be $7.95. Are we repainting this at all? No, I like the way it looks. I think it's perfect for fall. It's got like gold. a shimmery a gold. Holidays. Picture that with a cute little Christmas tree in it. Oh, yeah. That'd be way cute. Um, originally it was $14 wherever they were selling it. The Goldie Terracotta Pot. It's probably from one of those like bougie um, little plant stores that we have here in Utah. I go there and I'm like, that's from Creative Co-op. Like I know where all of it's from. <laughs> oh, it's Creative Co-op, look. I was uh, trying to yeah. see the original sticker. Yeah, I bet this came from that place that's up on the mountain in Sandy. Maybe. So now it's $7.95. So this mug is from the thrift store and I have no idea. It, it looks like it's like a creamer slash, slash pitcher. It's pretty big pretty for a creamer. Boat. Is that enough? It's like in between. Is that really enough? It's gravy? like a normal human sized gravy boat. Not a ray size. We use pitchers. Yeah, but like big pitchers. That could be a gravy boat. It was $1.50. It's going to be $7.95. Ooh, it's not even late at night. I had to fight off a yawn right there. Yawning I just, I, there's no maker on the bottom of it, but I really liked it. It's, it's just an indication that nap time is coming. Did you have two of these or just one of these? Just one. All right, so this is Nitto um, Heather Stone, made in Japan. Um, 790, no. I can't read my own writing. $12.95. There we go. If you flip it the right side, it was a dollar. Uh, but anytime we can, it's ironstone, I believe. But anytime we get like Japanese pottery, it's very collectible. People love it. It's good quality. We always pick that up. Sorry, I was texting in the shop. What are they got? I told them I wasn't going to be available. They were asking a shipping question. Also, Angie is home. Oh, good. Yeah, she told me earlier they were going to be home today. So. 
All right, so we've been, we've been puppy sitting for. Our so this is Mikasa, the Italian countryside collection. Very collectible. I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't go back, or you didn't go back and buy all the mugs. Were there mugs? Yeah, there were mugs. There were also mugs that matched that creamer too. I was like, well, maybe Zeb will find these. No. I like to leave the mugs for you because you're the mug. All right, so we've got a little there. sugar dish. It was $1.50. The set together is going to be $29.95. So I actually saw the set for like $50-ish um, on when I was looking at pricing. And then at Replacements Limited or whatever, which is always the most expensive website, they were even more expensive than that there. So this is a particularly popular Mikasa set. I like it because it's neutral. Some of their stuff just is not my jam. But... Deb likes to call it Mikasa. 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 I'm, I'm wrapping stuff. Mikasa, 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 Sukasa. I'm wrapping it so that way it arrives alive. It's, it's like strong. Spanish. It's Japanese. <laughs> right. This is bo Fine Bone China, Crown Staffordshire, England. And it's actually got like a, like a serial or a uh, registration number or something on to here. To me, that looks like Middle Eastern. No, it, it says, says four twenty nine. Oh, I don't know. I just thought it was cute, so I bought it. It was a dollar. We're selling it for three ninety five. They kind of go with those floral prints we had on plates last week. That's really why well. I got them, so I thought it would go well with that set. Although pretty much all of that set has sold. It's gone. No. The There's some of the one? plates and stuff. All the some big plates. serving pieces are gone, which oh, I expected. Gotcha. They'll take a little bit more. But um, I, yeah, I think this is really cute. And a lot of people like to mix match. Like if you found just a pink teacup, it'd be cute with this as a base or a little cloche on it. So I'm picking them up. All right, this vase is aluminum and it looks like pewter. I really like it. I like the shape. I like the detail on it. I like the size of it. Um, it was a dollar fifty. We're selling it for sixteen ninety five. You know what it reminds me of? What? Um, the vases that they put on like tombstones, like headstones. Really? Ah. Well, you recently were visiting. I was your recently dad visiting my dad at the uh, cemetery. So maybe if it doesn't sell, we'll put it in one of his because he has like the drilled out holes. And I have to put that oh, in. he does. I didn't know. Yep. Did yeah. your mom pick that out? Um, no, I did. Oh. All right, this doesn't have a pre-price on it. I'm gonna it's guess like it was a dollar. Yeah, or 75, um, 75 cents actually. It's a glass bowl that's, uh, that's not cut, it's pressed. No, it's just pressed, very popular in the 70s. Tarnished silver. My sister Deborah got some for her wedding presents. Um, was she married in the 70s or the 80s? I would guess. A late 70s, I think. 70s. Because I was born in 82 and she was married. Since they yeah, have kids so from 70s. the 70s. Because oh, yeah. Ben was born in 79, A right? year later, yeah. So they got married in 78. I don't know. I could be doing fancy math. Very popular wedding gifts. I just think it's great. You can put succulents in here, again, or change, keys, jewelry. <laughs> I love pretty little bowls for that. This one's definitely for something small. Little terracotta pot with like a moss Honestly, finish on it. Honestly, probably originally from Creative Co-op. <laughs> I always like finding things that we could wholesale. This one didn't get priced. It was 75 oh, cents. Let me see Do you if know I can how find much it. it was? Yeah. Why don't you scoop, scoop yeah. on to something else? I'll, scoop keep, on. I'll scoop on right over to here. And I will see if I can find this, it. This, uh, Jamie would, I think this is a vase. Jamie would probably also call this an urn. Yeah, it's Even a metal Even though there's base. no lid. Metal but base. Did I call it an urn? I might I don't know. It, an urn. Um, it was $2. It's going to be $19.95. I don't know if she said we're painting it or not. I would guess no. I like the patina on it. I think I it's fine. I think we are painting it. See, that's why I guess. I don't say for sure. I guess. You never know with me anymore? Yeah, it's a wild card. Like, it's sometimes it depends it, on like what I've It recently. really just depends on your mood. Like if you're like, yeah, I like it's that. It's a metal urn. urn and it will be painted. <laughs> Goes over here. So there we go. All right, keep going. I'm still looking for this. If, maybe, if I can't find it, then maybe this needs to be um, put in the system. We paused this Saturday Night Thrift Hall to remind you that we just launched our new JRV decoupage paper. You can pick up the Jamie Ray Vintage decoupage paper at jamierayvintage.com or from your local retailer. These are A4 rice papers and we came out with 11 new designs available now. So we've got this cute little pot. It is $4.95. I paid 75 cents for it. Probably originally from Creative Co-op. I have ordered from them before. I just like the size of it. Perfect for like a little succulent or you could paint it and do something Christmas. Here, let's see if this fits in there. 
My little cabbage. Oh my goodness, look at that. Like a boss. How much are these? So they were $2 each and I'm selling them for $4.95 each. It looks like they were $8. This bucks says $5.95. Oh, $5.95, sorry. Careful. They were $2 and we're selling for $5.95. Originally they were $7.99. I think they're cute. I think $2 was a lot for them, but I picked them up anyways because I really liked them. Sometimes you do that when you really like something, you're like, well, that doesn't sell. Like I guess I can use that in my house. It's got to look good in the shop, so I was happy for it. All right, so this is Godinger Silver. I think it's Silver. Is it Godinger, Godinger? It's not Godinger. Uh, it was $1.50. It's going to be $22.95. Very coastal. Um, I don't do a lot of coastal decor in my own home, but I do find that it sells very well, especially online. And it's a very nice piece. Like it's a good piece of silver. And I saw them upwards of 40 to $50 online. So I thought that our price was like reasonable. If you've got a cottage, you need to hold some napkins. Yeah, like yeah. a beach cottage or beach cottage theme. This is really cool. It's definitely a like quality piece that'll be around it's for heavy. a long time. Yeah. It's very heavy. That's what I love about buying like these vintage antique pieces. We actually have somewhere in here. Oh, you want to grab that little candlestick? This is vintage Walmart. And the reason why I know it's old is because Walmart ain't selling nothing but solid brass anymore. Oh, this. Yeah. But back in the day, you could get solid brass at Walmart. And that's what this is. It's a little like Christmas tree with a bow candle holder. Originally at Walmart, Department 18. It was $4.97. We bought it for a dollar and it's $9.95. So this is like, again, really good quality, something that's gonna last year after year after year. Maybe right. they do have solid brass at Walmart. I just haven't seen it. So these lamps might be the find of the week. This one needs tightened up, but brass yeah. bottom. <laughs> a little wobbly, but double tighten everything Brass up. top, and then tell them about this. These were made in France? The base was made in France. I can't remember what the act, there's actually a word. Let me see if I can find it on the website. I, I did some research on them because I'm not, I am not an expert when it comes to lamps at all. You know, all. like an old lamp. I'm not the crazy lamp lady. Like I don't know lamps. I just know good stuff when I see it and then I come home and I research it. Most of the things that I find that are like super valuable, I have no idea they are when I find them. I just know that I like them. Then I go home and look them up. All right, let me see if I can find these lamps. So how much did you pay for these? Seven or eight dollars each. I can't remember. I took the tag off, but they were under ten a piece. So I think seven or eight. Okay. Um, they are French Bristol glass. That's what it's called. This is Bristol French glass. Bristol. The bases are. It's almost like milk glass. And you might want to rewire them if you're concerned because they are. I mean, functional, yes, but old wiring. Sometimes old wiring, it's fine. Legally, I'm going to tell you to consult an electrician. <laughs> but any lamp of this age would be wired the same way. Um, and they're $289.95 for the set. They're not identical. One of them has birds and like a like leafy scene. I don't know. Like a marsh, I guess is the word. And then that one is like got a wreath and it's all floral. I'm bringing them close. It's good. So that will make sure they're all super tight before they leave. Um, and... If you guys are resellers, like definitely look into vintage lamps like this. The mid-century vibe is really gaining a lot of resurgence. And I personally think because this looks like milk glass, even if you don't decorate mid-century, that these would look really good in a cottage, like European cottage type vibe. They had lampshades, much debate. People were upset. I actually gave them back to the thrift store. They were not original. One of them was dirty. They had beads on the bottom. I just, I have a lot of lampshades that I can do projects with and I wasn't interested in getting any more. So I bought the lamps for the price they were asking and redonated the shades. Also, it's so hard to ship lampshades. If you guys have seen our barn clean out videos, you will understand why I am trying to be cautious about supplies I'm collecting for upcycling because I literally have a bag of lampshades. I don't know if it's in the barn or in the second floor of the shop, but have enough. So I left those there. People are like, I'll just buy the lampshades. I'm like, well, you have to go back to DI because <laughs> that's where I left them. Okay. Do you want to go through the pile of frames? Yes. In here? yes. These are the little ones. We have two big mirrors we have to unload over there before we show them to you. Better. We'll rapid fire these. Rapid fire. Everything is getting painted. If it doesn't have a mirror, it's going to get art in it. So I'm just telling you, everything in this pile will be painted. If it's a frame, it will get art. By the time this video airs, our new decoupage rice paper will be out. 
in the A4 size. Lots of good prints that can just go in frames. We and will be using all new paper in all of these that are yeah. our friends. So We're, let's draw. I'm excited. This one's a mirror and it's really cute. It just needs a paint job. Just needs a paint job on this. It was $1.50. It's going to be $19.95 once it's done. It's very ornate. Got tons of detail. Hard to see in the glare. This is like an embossed leather and you can paint leather. I'm going, my plan is to do, I think white on this. Don't hold me to it in case I change my mind. And then wet distress and bring back the leather for more of a two-tone because I feel like you can't see the detail. It was also, $1.50 yes. and once it's painted with art, it will be? $26.95. $26.95 is the price du jour. Here is a lovely frame. It's actually got great detail. The color is not great. I, so they had a few there and some had like a little heart shape on them. I passed on that. So this was $2. It'll be $26.95. We will just prime it and paint it. We will also paint the back so that way it all looks good and then put art in it. The detail is going to look a lot better. When yeah, it's going to be awesome once it's all done. It is a plastic frame, so it's not like super, uh, what do I want to say? Valuable? No, not, not, not valuable, but uh, old. No, and this one is like medium-ish old. It looks like originally from Hobby Lobby. Again, art, new paint job, $26.95. This $2. one is two, was $2. I like the circle and it's heavy. It's embossed tin, but I don't know what they have inside of the tin. And um, it's gonna be $26.95 and it doesn't look like much now, but this repainted, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good because it's gonna look like an antique ceiling tile with a picture. Well, in. we'll bring some of that blue back. The blues is actually not terrible. It's no, just it's got not like bad. a bad distress job on it. We're going to tone it back, put some art in it. Zeb passed on this frame. I <laughs> saw it and I thought that this was a little much. Jamie absolutely loves it for that. So, you know, there, there's the difference in our taste. The factor's <laughs> MDF. Uh, and then this is like a t wrought, I don't know, like tin? What would you say this is? This is wrought well, iron It's just tin. pressed tin. This has brought iron behind it. And this actually was from Creative Co-op originally too. This green color is not, I mean, it's not bad, but. It's not quite the shade of like olive green that's going around now. It's a little bright. Yeah, I just, I don't. And a little muddy because they like weirdly glazed it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna paint it and I think it's gonna look a lot better, especially when I two-tone the metal. Depending on the art will depend on the colors. This one will be uh, $2 and this will be $26.95. All right, I think we're through the $26.95 frames. Yeah, because this one's $29.95. So these are like <laughs> wall panels. Um, and that one, this one's a little bit different. It's like definitely molded. Um, and that one's square, this one's rectangle. They're gonna get multiple colors, maybe some gold wax. They'll look very French when we're done. And they'll be $29.95. This is a big pile of stuff that needs painted over here this week, but we couldn't pass it. We, no, had, we, we found so much good stuff and just because it needs paint. It doesn't mean that we're not going to grab it, which just needs a little extra work on the back end for I us. I think a lot of the stuff can be sprayed, at least the base coats, and yeah. then we can add the waxes and the glazes and the two-tone color finish, so it won't be that bad. Although the pile to be painted is growing. It's getting bigger. Next up to be painted, <laughs> this is just a metal magnet board and it actually comes with a brass yeah and it had magnet. that on there i'm like i'm surprised that's still there it's like a little brass you could lady. put a, like a piece of art in it and then yeah magnet it on super cute uh two dollars i don't love 20, the 30, peachy 30. pink color oh. with the the bad brown glaze and the splatter the orange splatter like the color on this is awful but the the shape and the texture is good so painted of course it'll be awesome we have about- Ivy's down here dropping links. You think she's like- I've been uh, trying to not go so rapid fast that she can't find stuff. <laughs> so we're time for a question. We'll take a little qu question break. One of the things we get asked all the time is, um, what does the price you pay affect the price you sell it for? And it absolutely does not, as is evident by the fact that we have two shelves earlier that were $8 each and they're both priced very differently. We price things based off of what we feel they are worth once we are done with them or what they are worth as is. It has nothing to do with what we pay for it because you are not always guaranteed to get something the same price all the time. So if I get a tremendous deal on something, I'm still gonna sell it for market value in my shop, especially because when people walk in, it doesn't make sense if they find two items that are basically the same thing, 
but one is way cheaper because I paid less for it. Like even when people give stuff for me for free, I'm gonna price it accordingly so that way everything makes sense in my shop to the end customer. So there you go. All right, hopefully you had a chance to get a drink, Ivy. <laughs> Drink. I, I All right, drink. so this is, it's like a ceiling tin, pressed tin mirror, but someone took some vinyl. It looks like they put their initial, their family last name, or maybe their first name. I'm going to peel this vinyl right on off of there, and then it'll be an awesome mirror. We're probably going to paint the frame, and it'll be super great. And this, this mirror comes right out, too, so we don't have to worry about cleaning the mirror up we can just pull that yeah, out anytime you can get a mirror or the glass out of a frame take it out ahead of time before you paint it it'll save you a lot of work i don't know how much it was price tag's been pulled off i think it was like two or three bucks and we're selling it for 32.95 yeah somebody just had a crooked and they customized it which is great but we're uncustomizing i'll it. finish that later that's gonna be a minute yeah <laughs> i think if you take it out yeah you just go from the side Sometimes you have to use like a razor blade, just be careful not to scratch the mirror. Quick commercial break. We keep forgetting to do the winners from the Facebook shares, so we're going to do that right now. For everybody that's shared these videos on Facebook, thank you, thank you. We pick people to send happy mail to every week. The winners this week are Cindy Lindland Zarling, Marlene Wasink, Wasink? Go with that. Um, Corey Roberts and Sally Lee Lockard. Um, if that is you, be sure to email info at jamierayvintage.com with your address and we will send you some happy mail. Thanks for sharing. So this one's $5. We are going to redo this section here and leave the rest as is and it'll be $49.95. That's going to be tricky just redoing that wood. No, it's not. I did that before on that sheep one. Okay. I just have to paint it neat. It comes complete with clothespins. It's, cute. it's ready to go in the bathroom. I just farm sweet farm. I'm kind of over that. Like farms are sweet. I have farm animals. I don't want something that says farm sweet farm. So I'm going to fix that up. Um, let's see if I can find that. Price was just remind me, just put it like over there so I can remember to make sure that that's priced correctly. I'm going to need okay. a drink. Now it looks like we're almost done with the thrift haul because the frame, but guess what's outside of the frame? Here, let me a pass you some stuff. things. Okay, here is a cute little clock. It'll be $29.95. It was $2. Definitely get a new paint job. Love that it's solid wood. There was a maker in like Colorado or Utah that made a ton of these clocks because we thrift them all the time. Yeah. Rocky Mountain Woodworks is yep. who made it. And it'll be way cute repainted. Oh, that goes over here. And the paint pile. This paint is, pile's This giant. is all paint pile. Yeah. This is a very poorly spray painted clock that probably originally came from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was, I don't know how many dollars because the price tag. Oh, uh, it was two. two. Originally $30 at the store. We're going to repaint it and it'll be $26.95. Because it, like the original price tag is going to be there. Look at all that stuff. I only put it off like half the pot. There's a lot. Look at all this fun junk. Lest you think that we're almost done, we're not. Yeah, you guys get some time. Catch up with your friends. <laughs> so many comments. All right. Getting ready for fall in the shop. This is a cute little handmade decor. The paint job is not fabulous. So these are going to get repainted. I think those would actually be good, like a white color with maybe some of the orange coming back through or like a cream. I love all the cream pumpkins. Oh, yeah, that would be cute. Cre not white. I think white would be too stark. So these were um, $3 and $2. This big one is going to be $26.95. This little one's going to be $19.95. I will paint them. I might decoupage them. I don't know. They're going to be cute. All right. This is going on so your So Jamie side. called this an urn, and I didn't remember what I was looking for because I didn't, I didn't ever think that this was an urn. But now that she said it, I'm like, yeah, that's probably an urn. Well, I switched to canister because you said it was a canister. I thought it was a canister. It was. Holds things, right? Eight, no, $3, and we're going to paint it because... The zebra stripes just ain't doing it for me, and it'll be $24.95 painted. I might even put a, a mold on it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think it'll be all right without a mold, but, you know, if we've got one handy, why not? Just never know what we're going to do. This is a lot of painting, so maybe no mold. Next up, totes. We've been selling a ton of these lately. This was $2. We're going to paint it up. Either decoupage or stencil the edge, and it'll be $18.95, and it is divided, so... Cute little solid wood tote. Is that big enough to hold a pint? 
No. Not quite, you don't think? Let no. me, I gotta look, I gotta look. Here, show them these. All right. I'm gonna probably, I don't think I'm gonna paint these, but I am gonna stencil them. He's gonna stencil the edges. So these were $1 each. I don't know how much this one it was. Maybe two bucks. The price is, oh, $1.50 for this one. Um, this is gonna be $13.95 with the end stenciled and $9.95 for the end stenciled in these. And they don't all stack. Like these two fit together, but this one and this one are same size. It barely misses. We freeze dried these apricots and like this side. That's your side. Yeah. Uh, oh man, it's almost squeezing in on that side. But okay. barely, barely too big. Maybe a little half pint. I don't this know. tote is really cool though. Um, it's gonna be $18.95. Gonna get some stenciling. Um, this is this is one of those things where we, we talk a lot about like putting art in frames and getting away from sayings and things. This is one of those scenarios where this is begging for some old labeling Signage. stencil or or uh, we get some rice paper coming out that's going to be great for something like this. So keep that in mind. That works on this kind of thing. I'm probably not going to put Farm Sweet Farm on it. No. All right, next up. A wooden planter. It's really worn and aged. It's going to be $19.95 and it was $2. And we're not going to paint it because the patina is really good. Somebody has already planted in it. So we will get rid of the dirt and cobwebs. Sorry, my squirrel brain was like, I need to see if these are staying crisp. Oh, did you hit that snap? Zep freeze dried those apricots himself. I just needed to make sure that they were staying airtight in here. Is this getting painted? This isn't getting painted, is it? Mm -mm. You're taking a lot of drinks. Well, I'm talking a lot while you're wandering and gathering. <laughs> I'm just going to pull this back. We have so much more stuff, don't you worry. Okay, this is a Holland mold, which is collectible. These were like, like the people would refinish them the way that they wanted. It does have a chip on it, so I priced so like it. Like a chip here and a chip there. And it's got some, some little like crackle cracks but otherwise like it's in solid usable condition super pretty um it was two dollars i'm selling it for 26.95 i actually saw these upwards of 50 dollars wow because holland mold like, apparently this particular one is popular i don't know i saw it pretty. it's very pretty i thought it was pretty okay this is all not painted way in my is this a pigeon or is it a lovebird I'm going to bring it close for you. Somebody told me it was a pigeon. I looked it up online. It said lovebird. So. Lovebird or is it a pigeon? It was a dollar, whatever it is. And we're going to sell it for? Um, I think I just pulled this off of there, but that can't be right. I don't know, three ninety-five. dollars It's got a couple of chips on it. That's Maybe that's what you said. I just thought you'd gone six ninety-five, So that's a deal if it's three ninety-five. dollars I don't know. The link just... will tell the tale. I was so tired after pricing all this stuff. Zep's like, you're still not done yet. I'm like, listen, Linda, it's a big haul. We're still like, we're maybe halfway done. Massive. Massive. All right, show them the cake plate. Cake and plate. The treat, and the treat dish. The treat dish and punch bowl. You can do a punch bowl with treats underneath. Oh, that's fancy. I know. You know, get Except your little garnishes down here. Only if you got kids. Well, I always have kids. If you got kids at your party. $29.95. This was three bucks at the thrift store. All right. Uh, it needs some scrubbing. It's got, got it needs some grease to come off of it. Not too yeah. bad, but. Put that in my bin? Yep. I'm starting to, it's, your stuff is starting to pile up over here. My stuff? Yeah. You you bought all the stuff. It wasn't me, was it? Mm -hmm. No, I need that one back. This is full. You might have to walk away. You might have to walk away. You might have to like go walk. I feel like my butt is glued to this um, stool. All right. I feel like I have a headache from having my hair up here. Okay, pull it together. All right, I'm going to hold it together, but I have a headache. Yeah, I feel like I'm losing you. All right, $2 <laughs> each. You're not losing me. <laughs> you're taking lots of drinks. You're starting to get distracted by what's going on I outside. I actually really want lunch. <laughs> All right. Two dollars on each of these cast iron. They're long, so they so can be cute. used like a hat hook or robes. Robes, yes. Or uh, they're sturdy enough you could throw a big backpack on you here. You can put like um, hangers on it, like if it was in a dressing room or whatever. These are going to be eight ninety five each. Which is, I feel like it's a good deal. That's for those. a good deal on those. Retail on those Look, is I'm probably like eighteen ninety five. I was just teasing, you didn't have to get up. I feel like I did. I'm 
Yeah. All right. This is a Jamie buy, and this is also a Jamie buy. Um, this is porcelain treasures. Very, it's a napkin holder, but you could also just put like plants in it or whatever. I think it's super cute. I, I like the style, the punch design. Who's keeping napkins design. on their table right now? Who There's has napkins on their table? People that do. I it's have wondering. a roll of paper towels. I'm not judging you. I'm just wondering how popular it is. That's why I need you to know. I oh, need to comment know. below. Let us know. That's yeah. I need to wrap this up because this paper isn't good enough. And then this little milk glass dish was a dollar. You know, it doesn't have a brand or a maker on this. Is this like Anchor? It's just a little candy dish. Just a little candy dish. It was a dollar at the thrift store. We're selling it for $9.95. I love that you're wrapping everything as we go. That's going to be so loud on camera. Sorry, Maybe just set it over there. We'll get it in a minute. Too bad. I don't um, want it to break. Somebody commented the other day that I was too rough on things, so I'm trying to be gentle. And also, when we're all done, these will be ready to go. So. Yeah, they will be. All right. This was a controversial pick. I got questioned about this at I, the thrift store. Like, why don't you just put that back on the shelf? I'm like, it's a dollar. I like it. I'm not good. Then when you brought it home, I was thinking for fall or Christmas, it would be good. And that was my idea. And it I think, is, is it cast iron? Yes. And it goes great with your uh, Christmassy theme that we're about to... I think it's more fall than Christmas, personally. But it's It could cute. be, yeah. It was a dollar, and we're going to sell it for $9.95. It's like, just like a fun little soap dish or jewelry dish or, you know, keys, whatever you want to do with it. Sometimes stuff grows on you. When you first initially purchased it, I wasn't like in love with it. But it needs a scrubbing. It's going to be nine ninety five. I need the scrubbing. Yep. All right. I will and it's. I won't put it past you. I saw every now and then I'll thrift some stuff, and we still have it. It doesn't go. We just made some special. <laughs> but I think that's a good one. We did sell those like weird metal plant things that flop down after I painted them. I sold them at a buy and sell. The ones that had like those crisscross. Like round planters, it was like a wall sconce planter. I painted them Americana, so I I personally think the only reason they sold is because the paint color was really cute. Well, Americana is an amazing color. Americana works magic. All right, just little uh, uh, enamel. enamel. I want to say casserole dish, but you know you can put whatever. It's a tray you want. or a roaster. Yeah. No lid on this. It was two dollars, but I just like the size and the shape of it and the black enamel. That's mostly what I liked was the black enamel. We like all the enamel. Um, eighteen ninety five. I that will love be. this one with that the one is sky cool. blue and the black edge. It's good vintage it's very, enamel. Very French. Two dollars and there's not a price tag on it. I think twenty two ninety five. Um, it'll be on the edge if it has. Like, yeah. This edge. Look on the other side. I have looked at all the sides. Maybe I didn't price it because they were. I don't it, know. Well, it's possible that, because I was sitting on the couch looking up the prices and we're tag teaming, it's possible that he didn't hear me. It's true. She we thinks had I a need discussion. hearing aids. Is there like an age when you can get a hearing aid? Because he said he's not getting one before 65, but I try, people think I'm loud. but that's I can still hear good, but if there's a ton of ambient things going on, I basically like tune everybody out. So you got to be talking directly to me and make sure that or I've yelling. got... That your attention. Otherwise, I'm probably not listening to you. you so it's have, probably more you of were a. You having a discourse. There should be you listening. My purpose. It's probably that, more of a listening problem than an actual hearing problem. I don't like to yell, so I'm guessing I said it, but you didn't hear me. That that was the whole conversation. But anyway, comment below. Is there like an age for a hearing aid? Because I just think I don't want to yell at you for the next twenty. I mean, if I can't actually hear good. I'll do it, but I hear like little noises in the house all the time. Like, kids like trying to sneak out. Like you can't get past that. Like my hearing, I think is okay. Well, if anybody thinks that I'm too loud on camera, it's just because it's hard for me to go from like normal voice to Zeb voice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, these were like a dollar each. Zeb picked these up. They're heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna make them look like cement. And they got the metal. Uh... Are they terracotta? No, they're they're wood. I... Oh, no, maybe. I think they're terrible. I thought they were wood. No. <laughs> I didn't bang them. They're uh, going to be $7.95 once they're painted. Each. $7.95 each. I'm going to have to wrap these up. But they got metal stems and the leaf, and I'm going to make them look like uh, cement. Okay. Lest you think that we're almost done because you can't see things, we're okay. not. Don't you worry. There's more coming at you. So here, just do this. Oh, I don't want to scratch this stuff. Oh, we don't want to scratch the table. table. We, we gouged the table. We have the a whole pile day. here and a whole pile there. It's 
coming at you. Yeah, we'll start telling them. I'm actually curious. I may have to watch this so I can hear what people are saying about like if there's an, an age you wear a hearing aid. You can just watch the comments later. All right, next up we have these uh, this really cute snowman set. They are measuring cups when you pull them apart. There is a chip on this one. I saw these for about 30 bucks. So with the chip, I priced this one at $16.95 for the entire set. It goes from a cup all the way to an eighth a cup in his cute little snowman hat. It's actually really cool. It's unfortunate that it has a little chip in the half cup. It can still live a full and happy life with it. All right, why don't you show them the next thing, Lauren? Wrapping my stuff up. Okay, little turkey. I, we're, gonna, we're gonna paint the flames right off of this guy. Are there flames on him? <laughs> it looks like flames on his wings. I think those are supposed to be feathers. Yeah, I know, I know too. We're gonna neutralize this uh, flame situation and paint it up. This side's better. It's cool, it's like metal and wood and somebody else made it. I just think it's gonna be good. Yeah, it, well, when someone else makes it, it's always better. It's better than when you have to make it. Yeah. I know that it's hot, like it's been over 110 for like 60 days in Arizona, but we started really maybe. trying to put fall in starting in August, um, and it is August, so bring here's, on the fall Here's the thing, we're, we're only like three months away from Thanksgiving. You're going to blink, and the cool weather will be here, and we're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving. I think it's because you're ready for the cool weather. So this I actually think Always is a dove. Right cool weather. This looks like the one from Home Interiors, only it's iridescent. So I don't know if it's still Home Interiors. It was $0.75 cents and it's six ninety five. dollars Okay, we got these cute, we got a lot of Christmas going on here. The thrift store is also starting to bring it out. I think they bring it out year round. Yeah, I don't think they worry I'm just about starting it. to pay attention. These were a, a paint finish that was not completed. Um, the mold. I got these cool, creepy eyes. From, yeah, they look bad. They need to be finished painting. They were dollar fifty each. They're from nineteen eighty seven. If I oh. read that correctly. Yeah. My mom actually did a set like this at church. They were polka dots. I will probably not be painting them polka dots. Yeah. I was six when these were made, and I might have done a similar paint job on these when I was six. Maybe, maybe not. The antlers are actually I pretty neat. somebody neatly got done. distracted. Someone just didn't finish the ears and the eyes. Oh, so the set's gonna be $38.95. This particular set of deer is really collectible. Like a lot of people are looking for these and they were $1.50 each. All right, we have Christmas tree jar. This is really unique. I don't think I've ever seen one of these out in the wilds before. Didn't even know they existed. Um, it's going to be seven ninety five. Jamie paid a dollar fifty for it. So I think that they're drinking jars. I looked them up. Really? That one doesn't have a, a lid, like a straw, but it would originally have had a mason jar lid with a hole. Oh, I see. But somebody replaced it with that. So seven ninety five. I don't know that I would get it and plan on canning in it. No, but you could put Christmas candy in it, like that that like ribbon candy. Type stuff, the made. So this artichoke has a flat bottom. It's made to. It's made to sit how it was just sitting. It's it got was, a flat bottom because it hasn't been doing squats. Yeah, it's miss, it miss, been skipping leg day. But I think you could put it upright too if you wanted to, like in a vase situation. It's made for that. It was dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. We're selling for eight ninety five. Mm -hmm. As is. Actually, are we painting it? I feel like it needs to be painted. Yeah, if we're not. If, it's, it's, if it says not painted, I'm gonna switch it to be painted because it needs to be painted. It's it probably won't be black. We'll bring some of that black back through. So yes. watch out for that. Okay, let's do all this little pile and we can do the big stuff. Okay. Cute little um, urn without a lid. Well, not an urn, but like a, what are these called? Like a soup tureen? Tureen? Yeah, it's a mini tureen. I think you called it a mini tureen in the listing. Um, It was a dollar and it's gonna be 10 dollars It's got a little tiny chips in it, but super Just cute, very inside, French though. looking. Perfect for succulents. If we say the word succulent one more time, people are gonna beat us. Actually, I think we just need to plant some succulents in some of these and be like, here you go, this is what we're talking about. We'll see, we'll see what doesn't sell and then we'll get some stuff and next week we'll change the listings if we plant it. So I don't know if this was brand new in the box. It may have been used and then It's new put in the box or it would have been tarnished. Gotcha. Um, it's silver plate made in Hong Kong. So it's really? been a minute, this is probably 70s, Early 80s. Early 80s at the earliest. I was just, if you saw the wheels turning there, I was like, wait, Hong Kong, not me, Hong Kong. 
I did not yawn. <laughs> I told you, right? It's nap 30. I just need some tacos. I got this for $2. It's going to be $19.95. And they called it a fruit bowl. I think that would actually be really cool with some fruit in it. Um, what are you going to put? Like cherries? Okay. You could put like two, most people. Some limes. Could fit like five or six pieces of fruit in here unless you're doing bananas. You know, do some apples, some it. pears, something like that. Um, most people. Oh, this is electroplated brass. It says EP brass. Oh, there you go. So it's brass underneath the silver. I like that. But yeah, I think for a normal size family, you know, well, three or six, three normal. or six kids. Um, but we also then we have friends, and it gets abnormal. Oh, okay, man, so yeah, USA yeah. California pottery. 75 cents, I'm selling for $7.95. It has crazing in the bottom, a couple of small like cracks, but nothing like all the way through it. And it's just really great. I love California pottery. I pick it up every time I find it. I think that this, is full. this clock was my find of the week. It was $10. I almost passed on it because I only saw the back end of it like this. I couldn't see that it was a clock. It was on the top shelf. I'm like, what's that round thing with the bad paint job? Because it's bad. It's like they like flung paint. It's like they flung red, red uh, paint drizzle. It's boring, it. like. Yeah, but it's got this cast iron bird on the top, and it's a clock. And, and it's if big. You put a bird on it. We gotta have it. Gonna, and the face is cool too. It's gonna be ninety nine ninety five. I wish when they did faces like this though, they would make the image more crisp. But it's like the trend. I don't know what it is. Like Well, what I, happened is they probably blew a small picture up too big. Then sharpen it in Photoshop. No, it's hard. It's still, even sharpening it, it's hard. You almost gotta vector it. Okay. Whatever it is. <laughs> the, I don't know, vector sharpen. These are kind of fun for me because I just had somebody buy the rest of the ones I had in the shop. They're not fast sellers, but they do sell over time. They are electrical um, insulators. This would be on the top of an electrical pole over the top of the electrical. So they have wood dowels that stick into the pole in here and they screw in. And then the dowel sticks into a hole on the power line. And then this, because wood will conduct electricity, this holds the wire and goes on to the next pole. That's, a, I was like, I don't know, they're from electrical poles. These are Hemingway 17s made in the USA. They were $1.50 each and we're selling for $4.95 in the shop and online. But yeah, I like to have them, people buy them. They're not necessarily like super fast sellers, but every now and then someone will come in and they'll be like, I've been looking for this one to complete my set. Apparently they're collectible. That's why I put that they're Hemingway's 17s. There are a couple other numbers. There's a seven and then a five, seven on the side. Did you already show them this? This is, Jamie was super excited about this actually. It's like a mid-century, I don't, it's got crazing on the bottom. It doesn't have a maker on it. Um, $2 at the thrift store. It's gonna be $18.95. I don't think we're painting it. No, we're gonna it's leave it like this burnt orange. It's perfect color. And looks really great with like a plant, like picture a little like, I don't know, hanging. Right, Popos, does, is that the one that goes over the edge? Yeah, it does have a hole back here. So you could actually hang it on the wall. Yeah. It's a hanging plant, yeah. All right, don't mind me, I'm just over here wrapping my goods. Why don't you show them? So I know, you This tree you're... is gonna get, I'm not wearing a mic, so it shouldn't be too bad. This tree is gonna get IOD ornaments. So last year, oh, you really? might remember us doing that. It needs to be fluffed out a little more, like it's, I haven't done we that. We did before. IOD ornaments on our tree, but I didn't know you were, are you gonna leave I'm just this? gonna, no, this is gonna be um, resin, like poured resin, and then I'm gonna paint them copper with dark wax and then put just some hot glue, some velvet ribbon. So they're like a mini decorated tree. We, have, we did that to wreaths, remember, last year? How are we gonna ship this and not have it get all smashed though? They're gonna have to fluff it. They're gonna have to. This is gonna go like this in the box. That's but how, how are you gonna arrange all your ribbon and stuff that you were just talking about? On I'm board? gonna send the ornaments and then- Oh, oh then you get to do the work. Some assembly required, because this is how it's gonna go in the box and they'll have a bag of ornaments. I was wondering, it's gonna be $49.95 once we do all that stuff. I, and, but maybe somebody local will buy it. Maybe. In the shop, it will be fluffed out with ornaments hanging. Gotcha. So look for things like this or just the greenery wreaths 
And then you can add the IOD molds as ornaments on there and it looks really good. I mean, I always hope things will sell in the shop when they're like that and we don't have to ship them, but for the most part, we ship like 90%. I was really thinking when I bought that, just it would look amazing on display. Some of the stuff never makes It'll it probably to sell tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. And for somebody who wants a decorated Christmas tree and doesn't wanna have to spend a ton of money or doesn't have a ton of space, that's gonna be perfect. All right. Don't worry, we still have more stuff. Don't worry. Um, this is right, seven ninety five. No, I don't think so. I can't read your handwriting. I'm gonna look this up. You show the next one. How much do you want it to be? I don't know, but I'm gonna double check. <laughs> All right, this is a metal, uh, just pedestal, and it's it's been painted this silver color. It's wearing off in some places, but I actually think that's okay. It kind of looks like mercury glass to me. Yeah. I don't know how much you paid for this because it doesn't have a price uh, on it. Was I think it, it was two, like two or three dollars. Two dollars. Um, it's going to be twenty one ninety five. It's got like a little bead around the edge here. Can you see that? But it's seventeen ninety five. You missed the seven. So it was. This was two dollars. I almost didn't buy it because I'm not a huge fan of ivy leaves, but there's no grapes. So I I love the coloring and it's like all crackled and crazed, so cute. The cobalt blue is good. So it was $2 and I'm selling this pot for $17.95. You are mixing up some painted and not painted items over oh, here. Oh, sorry. We're gonna have to go through the box. I told you I need lunch. You didn't feed me before you made me start working. I didn't I know. Had, I had a couple, a handful of pecans, but it's not really, it's not really working. All right, so this is Christ with a little lamb and a couple of kids. We see a lot of these, but this one is actually a little different than the one we see it. That's normally I like the at the coloring on store. it. Doesn't need to be painted. I just love the little sheep. Yeah, it's so cute. It's a good one. How much is that one? Uh, it was two dollars. It's going to be sixteen ninety five. Cute. It does need like a magic eraser. Just a scrubby, a little scrubby down. Okay, next up, I thought we did all the frames, but we lied. We didn't do all the frames. Oval frames sell like hotcakes. These were a dollar each, and once we put art and repaint these frames, they're going to be $22.95. And we cannot keep oval frames in stock. Like, once we paint them and put art in them, they're selling really well. Oh, to be painted. To be painted. Next up, from the Jamie Ray collection. <laughs> I'm starting Meaning to... Meaning she grabbed that from the house or the shop. stores all used items, and some things come from my house. So this one, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it's... It says number seven, and it's six dollars and ninety-five cents. Fits like a standard size pillowcase for like a couch. All right, uh, Lennox bowls. These are actually very designed. Here, let me show you the design on the lip of this. I always pick up Lennox when I find it. For me, it's like when Zeb always buys Mikasa, I always buy Lennox. It's very high-end, well-made. It's got like a gold Lennox label underneath, and I saw these selling for over fifty dollars. On up. Purple. Purple. And I'm selling them for $39.95 each, and they were $2 each. They're in pristine condition. Let's keep them that way. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some paper for I picked this up because I love the shape on it. Um, this is a $4 cutting board. It looks almost like teak wood to me, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. What do you think it is? Yeah, I think it, it looks like cheap to me. Um, it's going to be seventeen ninety five. Uh, I do need to sand the back a little bit. It's got like it's still like some branding and stuff back here. I'm going to sand that, and then we'll re oil that back. It looks better once all the branding's off of it. Yeah, I mean it's not bad. I just I don't know. I'm gonna pull that off. It's not like it's a cute bird on it. Or something. We reuse all the paper, all the bags. If you ever get anything shipped from us. And there's brown paper. Chances are it's what it was originally brought home in. Okay, next up we have another bowl. I don't normally buy the big size, but I loved the detail on this one. It's like almost the really same cool. style, I think, as the other one you yeah, have. Yeah, it's just a larger version of it. It's $16.95, and I think I paid like a dollar or two. Price tag missing. But really pretty. And I love the tarnished edge. This, to me, is an adequate fruit bowl size. You can fit a bunch of bananas, like three or four bananas, and a couple of apples. Okay, and then summer's not over yet. I'm thinking of you guys with the hanging plants. 
Because someone out there has been looking for one of these. You know what else? People use them. They put sticks and evergreens in them and berries for Christmas. Oh, like some yeah, little berry like picks and stuff in there? Like outside a little shed. How cute would that be? Yeah, it would be shed. awesome. Um, it's going to be $26.95. I don't. Looks like the price got pulled off of it because it was on the front. And that happens. Jamie yeah, will pull I the take, price off for the picture. If I can like <laughs> scoot it to where you can't see the price, I will. But if not, then I have to take it off. And sometimes when I take it off, I can't put it back on. Um, I pay, I think I paid three dollars for this. That one's good. It's kind of chippy, which I like. Um, and yeah. No, no solid. paint required. This I just is, like the shape of it. It's like a good half. This is like a swirly fluted trifle dish. Sometimes we get them and they're just plain. Swirly fluted. Um, they're actually really cute with Christmas ornaments in them. I've decorated like that before. Like if you have a bunch of like vintage Christmas ornaments and you don't want to put them on your tree because you don't want them to fall off. They're really pretty bunched up in a bowl like this, or fruit, or trifle. Lots of options. <laughs> um, it was $3. Sometimes at our house we throw eggs in there because yeah, we're running whatever. out of containers. Whatever you need to throw in there. And it's going to be $22.95. We are working our way. We are, we're getting there. I said there was a lot more, and now we're down to not a lot more. Okay. I have this for paper to wrap This around. is a large frame. The plastic is coming out. The plastic will come out. We're going to remat it. I'm going to do some art in here that's going to look amazing. And then we're uh, going to paint, paint the frame. Yes, paint the outside. What did I? $4. I was looking for the price. I think it's $79.95. 70, yep, $79.95 on that. Um, but the frame is great. It's a, it's a wood frame going to repaint that and give it kind of, I'll probably give it some old world look because I'm going to put some old world looking art in there. It's going to be good. I'm going to, and I'm going to hold them to it. We actually have a stack of frames waiting for. I, we keep buying them. I'm like, I'm going to put art in, but we got this paper release coming out. And so I've just been printing like around the clock with the printer uh, for the paper release. <laughs> so I haven't printed any big art. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. All right. Let's show them those big mirrors. And then we have like a couple more things and we're, we're done. It's been a fun haul though. It's going to be over an hour and we're definitely not going to get to painting because <sighs> holy moly, because we're at 42 minutes and we had to turn it off when Charlie, when Charlie came. Didn't break that's, anything. That's why I've been wrapping stuff. All right. So this mirror here is pressed tin around the edges. And I like that it's painted black because that's a great base color. We're going to repaint it with a lighter color, bring the black back through so that you can see all it's the details. Beveled. We're going to put an IOD mold on it. I don't know which one. So or I mean, not mold, transfer. Looking at it from here, you can't even hardly see in the picture there. At least it's I can't. super detailed. But let me bring it close. It'll be $224.95 once we paint the frame, put the transfer on it. Um, I'm thinking maybe Elysium, but I'm not positive. Do you Come see that detail there? It's good. All right. Next up is the frame. That's the frame Zeb bought. My frame is massive. That one I think was ten dollars. This one was fifteen. Zeb, can you grab the other side? I don't want to like scratch yeah, the table like any more than I already have. That I don't want to scratch. I may have already scratched it. This one actually is a pressed wood frame. It's wood. It's pressed. It's fifteen dollars. You guys are getting a good view of the skylight. <laughs> it's gonna get uh, IOD transfer on it, painted frame, and it'll be two eighty nine. Yes. Ninety five. Once it's done, big mirrors like this always sell really well for us. It'll be a little bit less expensive in the shop if it doesn't sell online, just because these are a labor of love to package up. They usually take a couple hours and they cost way more than our website charges. So make sure if you guys are resellers that you're taking into account the fact that shipping, not just like printing the label and everything, but just like packaging stuff takes an extended amount of time. All right, next up. We have lots of jugs for fall. Um, if they don't sell online, what I'm planning on doing them is putting a bunch of fall foliage in them to stage them up. Oh, in the I shop. thought you were gonna do some actual cider in them. We were gonna make cider from well, our apple we'll trees. We'll see what happens, but uh, there'll be decoration long before that. You know, um, all the cider we made last year got and Before never we needed to store it, like, like it wasn't even chilled in the fridge. Like the kids drank it up. Two dollars down to a dollar fifty. We're actually going to take this off. Actually, I don't know if it comes off. I'm going to see right now. I think it's I not can... vinyl. No, but it's like that other one that I pulled. So off. these are gallon, half gallons. Up says a quart. I put a pint, so I'll probably change this to say quart because he's right. Um, and then, don't you think this would be so cute? Like with all these jugs just sitting. 
with a bunch of fall pumpkins around it and some foliage. I Online, I'm just selling them as is. In the shop, I'll have like foliage priced separately. Sometimes I don't even price it at all because I don't want to sell my foliage because <laughs> it looks good. Occasionally, people will ask and I will sell it to them in the shop. Well, I had my little razor blade scraper out here earlier and now I don't see it. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to show you guys the... Oh, we have three more things to show. Okay, in the effort to do fall end of summer cleanup, I'm cleaning out some of my personal stash. This is one of our grain sack aprons. They sell for about $50. Um, it's been washed. It's got a crisscross back on it. And it's got like the little grain sack label on the front. It does have some authentic Jamie Ray painted in it. <laughs> and I'm selling it for $19.95, which I feel like it's a pretty good deal because I think the paint just makes it cuter. So $19.95 on that. I already have another one up and I'm like, I don't need 52 aprons. I think I do, <laughs> but I don't. I don't even wear them as often as I should. Yeah, you pretty much should have one on all the time and be making me all the sweet baked goods that you like to make. Well, we can't. I can't be barefoot and pregnant anymore because I'm past that, but I can. But you can be baking. I can be baking and barefoot, but which is pretty much, I don't like shoes, so. <laughs> Cute little pro, um, $14.95, probably acrylic. It looks like wool, but it's not. Um, so passing that along. You're gonna see things every week from my personal collection because I because what what we do I'm constantly redecorating. Well, you got that big old lamp in. over there that now lives at our house that I thought you were gonna sell. I'm not gonna sell that lamp, but I'm see I'm selling this stuff so I can keep the lamp. That's, <laughs> I like have to keep it moving. Next up, some mid-century cobalt. Um, no maker mark on these, but they look like anchor packing. They do have like some a few scratches. They've been used. We're gonna the run them through the dishwasher do. and get them all sanitized for you. That'd be super clean. Beautiful bowls, nice thick bottom, some bubbles in the glass. Cobalt always sells. Like I I passed it up and I went back for it because I knew I had to have them. I think I paid like a dollar for each bowl, a dollar fifty for the plates. The bowls are gonna be five ninety five and the dinner plates will be seven ninety five and I'll, I'll sell them individually. So that way people can buy what they need to complete their set or they can buy all of them, whatever. Okay, that is all the things. There's, I'm looking around, there's nothing we didn't show. Um, tons of great stuff tonight. Lots of painting, so there will probably be a pretty large, maybe we'll do a long paint of blues. It's been a while since we've done a longer yeah, paint I'm only gonna be gone two days. I'll be back late Sunday night. I'm actually gonna be in Arizona less than 48 hours because Friday night I have Eliza's first high school football game to watch her cheer at and so we're flying out super late friday night and then we'll get in um sunday night so we'll be back next week get it all painted up we'll be doing some more thrifting if you guys want to buy any of these things or paint products for your own flips you can visit jamierayvintage.com and if you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to jamie Ray vintage for more diy thanks for joining us have a great weekend and we'll see you next week on the next episode